Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 36 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about transform function which is available on data frame object in PySpark. So let's discuss this transform function with an example. So basically why this function is helpful is, let's say you have some custom transformations that means you created some functions to perform some custom transformations and now you want to apply these transformations on top of the data frame in such case you need to use this transform function if this is not making sense i will explain you that with a practical example here so let's try to create a data frame first this is my databricks workspace and here let's create a new notebook and let me name it like df transform notebook python is a default language this is my cluster name let me hit create button to create this data frame here sorry to create this notebook here so let's close this pop up and here let me very quickly create a data variable so in our previous videos i explained how to create a data frame with hard coded values i hope you have seen it if not watch it all the videos in my playlist are in sequence order so watching them in the same order will actually help you so here i am trying to create two rows actually so let's say like a id column name column and gender column something like that so i will be creating a variable called schema in which i can define column names id name id column name column and then finally salary column so spark keyword will give you spark session object in databricks or even in synapse workspace notebooks so you know that so here we have a function called create data frame to which i am supplying my data variable and schema variable to create the data frame and finally i am storing that data frame into a df variable so let me print this data frame using show function in a tabular manner to make sense of the data frame at this moment you can check here so it gives you a data frame which has two rows so so far it is good so let's assume i want to apply a transformation to convert this column into capital capitals maybe so you know that how to do that right so what we can do on top of data frame we can use a with column function and to the with column function i can say like name column and try to convert that name column to uppercase so to convert that we have to import that function from pyspark.sql.functions there is a function called upper which we have to import actually so let me import that here upper function okay so let me zoom this little bit and here let me close this pop up also so we imported upper function here so what i can do here to the upper function i can pass my name column of the data frame so finally i can try to use the show function here to see the results now if i execute this cell you can see my name column is converted as a uppercase but here we are using a transformation called with column to do that so what if you have some big logic where you want to apply some transformation on top of data frame and you want to implement that logic as a python function and still you want to use that function as a transformation on top of a data frame so in such cases you have to use the transform function when i practically explain this it will give you more sense so what i will be doing it here is so so till here data frame created we imported upper function it is fine or let me do one thing from here let me break the code here and let's try to create a new cell and in a new cell so i am importing a upper function and here let's try to define a function and maybe like a convert name to upper so this is a function which i am creating python function and in my python playlist i have explained what is functions and everything it will take some out input it may return some output okay so here i am passing a variable called df in which i will pass my data frame and inside a function i will be returning a data frame so on top of this data frame i am using this with column function and wherever we have a name column so that name column i am converting into uppercase so this is what this function is doing so this function has a logic of 
కన్వర్టింగ్ ద కాలం నేమ్ కాల్ కాల్ నేమ్ కాలం టు అప్పర్ కేస్ లెటర్స్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ద లాజిక్ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ హ్యాస్ నౌ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు అప్లై ఆన్ టాప్ ఆఫ్ మై డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ సో వాట్ ఐ కెన్ డూ ఇట్ హియర్ ఈస్ ఫస్ట్ లెట్స్ ట్రై టు హ్యావ్ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ క్రియేటెడ్ షిఫ్ట్ ఎంటర్ టు ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దిస్ సెల్ సో ఫంక్షన్ క్రియేటెడ్ నౌ వాట్ ఐ కెన్ ట్రూ అప్ ఆన్ టాప్ ఆఫ్ మై డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ ఐ కెన్ యూజ్ దిస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ టు ద ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఫంక్షన్ ఐ కెన్ పాస్ మై కస్టమ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ నేమ్ ఆర్ కస్టమ్ ఫంక్షన్ నేమ్ విచ్ ఐ క్రియేటెడ్ సో వాట్ విల్ హ్యాపెన్ దిస్ విల్ కన్వర్ట్ ద నేమ్ కాలమ్ టు అప్పర్ కేసెస్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ బ్యాక్ ద డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ సో దట్ రిటర్న్ బ్యాక్ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ ఐఎమ్ స్టోరింగ్ ఇన్ ఏ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ కాల్ డిఎఫ్ వన్ సో నౌ ఇఫ్ ఐ డూ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ వన్ డాట్ షో ఐ షుడ్ బి సీయింగ్ నేమ్ కాలమ్ ఇన్ ఏ అప్పర్ కేస్ సి హియర్ ఐఎమ్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ నేమ్ కాలమ్ ఇన్ అప్పర్ కేస్ వేర్ యాజ్ బిఫోర్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ హియర్ నేమ్ కాలమ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ అప్పర్ కేస్ ఇన్ మై ఒరిజినల్ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ రైట్ ఇన్ మై ఒరిజినల్ డేటా ఫ్రేమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ద కేస్ సో లెట్ మీ రీ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దిస్ కమాండ్ వన్ టు షో యూ ద రిజల్ట్స్ కరెక్ట్లీ సి హియర్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అప్పర్ కేస్ అండ్ ద మూమెంట్ i created this function and i applied this function using a transform function then i see upper case letters here so similarly maybe let's assume i have a, i want to create another function and le- like increase salary okay maybe double double the salary okay maybe double the salary column value this is the function name to this function also i am passing a data frame variable and it will also return a data frame so here also maybe i will be using a uh, with column function to the with column function i am saying salary column you have to uh, update and what you have to do is take the salary of each employee from data frame and multiply with 2 because i want to double the salary so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell now data frame 1 already has this transformation applied right this custom function whatever we created so now on top of data frame one again i am, I am applying this transform function to th- this time to the transform function i am passing this double the salary ka function here and this will also return a data frame so let me store it into df2 and finally let's try to do df2 dot show so let me hit shift enter and now if you closely examine here only names converted capital salaries are 2000 3000 but here salaries is also doubled okay so both the transformations applied what if if i want to apply all the transformations that means all the custom transformations in a single statement you can do that so let me do one thing here let me remove this code what i can do after applying this transformation uh, i will be writing a code in a multiple lines so i am using a slash here then finally here i am using a dot then transform function then to the transform function i am using double the salary function here so now if i execute this let me hit shift enter to execute this code you can see name columns converted to capital letters and salary became double you can see salary here 2000 3000 but here it is 4000 and 6000 okay so this is how the transform function will be very useful to apply some custom functions or custom transformations on top of your data frame i hope you got it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much